In this tutorial in CyberLink Bar Director, I'd like to show you how to speed up your editing process by turning to the power of keyboard shortcuts. In the Windows world, where we naturally want to use the mouse for about everything, but in many cases it's more efficient to keep your fingers on the keys and memorize a few shortcuts that will help you navigate around your PowerDirector screen. Let me show you some examples. Now we could take our mouse and take our time indicator and drag it to whatever clip and frame we wanted. I have three videos on track one and then I have two title tracks on track number two. And I can position OK this way or I can click on any clip and it will move my time indicator to the first frame of that particular clip. That's not bad, but let me show you some other things you can do with keyboard shortcuts. One of the things you can do with a shortcut is move to the beginning and end of the clip or beginning and end of your project with one keystroke. Notice there are two modes here. One is clip mode, one is movie mode. When we're in clip mode, our cursor will be confined to that particular clip. And you notice the time code here is all zeros. I have all these tools available in clip mode. When I click on movie mode, the tools go away. And notice my time code is now the code of my project. Now we can change that, but that's what it is by default. And my keystrokes will work differently. Let's look in movie mode first of all. In movie mode, if I simply press the home key, it will take me to the very first frame of my project. If I press the end key, it will take me to the last frame of the project. Notice it doesn't care what track you are at. So the nice thing here, sometimes we will scroll up and down to see what the last element is in our project, and we don't have to do that because the end key will take us to whatever it is on whatever track it is and show us the very end of our project. So home and end in movie mode is beginning and end of project. Now let's go to clip mode. Now to go to clip mode, I could click on the word clip with my mouse, but I can also use page up. Page up takes me to clip mode. Page down takes me to movie mode. So those two keys are really useful. I don't even have to move the mouse to activate it. Now in clip mode, the home and end keys work differently. The home key takes me to the beginning of a clip. The end key takes me to the end of that clip. It doesn't take me to the first frame of the next clip. But I, if I want to maneuver within a clip, home and end are really nice as long as I'm in clip mode. What if I want to go from the beginning of one clip to the beginning of the next clip? The keyboard shortcut for that is to hold down the control key and press the right arrow in the numeric arrows on your keypad and that moves me to the first frame of the following clip control right arrow control left arrow as you might expect will take me to the first frame of the previous clip and this again is track sensitive so if I'm down in my titles here on track 2 my control right arrow takes me over the gap to the first frame of the second title clip and control left arrow takes me back. So it's an easy way put to maneuver on a single track between the particular clips. What if you want to move inside a clip without using the mouse extensively? I'll click right here and the easy way to move or play the video is hit the space bar. Spacebar will turn my play on, spacebar will turn my play off. If I want to go fast forward through a video, I also have a nice keyboard combination. Now when I use this, you'll see a little box temporarily at the upper right corner of the preview screen. It will say 2x, 4x, 6x, up to 16. Hold the control key down and press the F key. That will be fast forward. And if while it's moving, I do it again, it will multiply. So watch what happens in the upper right corner. Control F gets me started. I'm fast forwarding at two speed. I'll do Control F again. Now I'm at four speed. Control F again. 
I'm at 8 speed and one more time I'm at 16 speed and I press spacebar and I'm back to normal speed so that's how I can fast forward through my project let me show you another way in which you can move the the time indicator without using the mouse we're all going to use the comma key and the period key the comma key and period key will allow me to move one frame at a time I press the comma key once you notice I have a time code here I press the comma key and I move back a, f a second press it again and I'm going back one frame at a time every time I press the comma key when I press the period key I go forward a frame at a time so if you want to really carefully position your playhead your time indicator the best way I know to do that is use the comma key or the period key another nice feature is that you can actually hold the keys down and I can just hold it down and move back to about where I want and then compensate by moving forward or backward a particular frame or I can hold down the period key it will move forward frame by frame till I locate the precise frame I want and there it will allow me to move it let me give you one other that's not related totally to, to where the cursor is but where the item is sometimes we want to move a clip on our timeline only a frame at a time if you want to move that or nudge a clip to the left or right by a single frame or a few frames hold down the alt key and then press the left or right arrow on top of the clip that you have highlighted so right now I, I am moving this clip away from the previous clip one frame at a time by using alt and the right arrow it's a nice way to precisely move a clip on your timeline there are other shortcuts that we'll look at in another lesson but these are some of the ones that I rely upon the most because it's very nice to navigate while keeping my hands on the keyboard mm -hmm.